Hello and welcome to Try a Maths Problem today. We have a simple looking question that turns out to be a little more complicated. We have a rectangle, we know the length, the length and the height of this rectangle. We have circles in this rectangle. That's the rub, we don't know the radius of these circles. They are all equal to each other. They cut this shape out of the box and leave us that blue area. I want you to try and find that blue area. So I recommend you pause the video, give it a go yourself, come back and I'll show you my solution. Probably not the only solution, I'm sure there's more ways to do this. Okay, let's get rid of my fancy graphics and here is my attempt to, to draw the question. I'll leave out all the blue, blue shading, of course. What we have here is a very strange shape. So first thing we have to think about is, uh, how do we get the area of that shape? And I want you to think it's a simple shape, rectangle, take away another simple shape, a circle, or in this case, uh, three circles. So a rectangle, which is 70 times 100, that's 7,000. A, a very easy question to do. Take away three circles, and a circle's easy to do. That's a, so minus three times pi r squared. So this question can be reduced down to what is or. So that's what we're gonna focus on here. We have to try and find or. Uh, the next uh, clue I would give you, um, or the next thing I'd say, I say to a lot of students when we have a question involving a circle, look at all the radius you can. Usually the, the trick revolves around the radius and one you missed, going from the center of a circle to somewhere. So what I'm gonna do here is, I'm gonna draw this again. I'm gonna draw a rectangle, but instead of putting in circles, a circle is just a, a group of radius, I'm gonna put in just the interesting ones. I think it helps uh, look at a question. So, well, I'll, of course, I'll also put in the centers. Center of the circles are here. Already I see a triangle, which we will end up using. Um, and triangles are great in maths. We know a lot about them, they come up a lot. Uh, so a triangle appears. But I'm gonna put in all the interesting radius I can. For example, this, the center of this circle, like this, this radius, not interesting at all. Doesn't go anywhere I care about. But what about straight down? That touches, that gives me the length from the center to the edge of the box. That radius is or, they're, they're all or. Uh, the radius going towards this center and this one going towards here, well that length's not or, because there's two of them. It's this one plus another one. That length is two or. This radius goes to the wall is or. These are two circles again joining up, that's two or. This one goes up to the top wall, that's or. Goes over to the side here, that's or. This goes over to the side, that's or. This hopefully is a much easier looking question to try and answer. Um, I'll go ahead and fill in this gap just because it looks better. And well, I guess we will use that line. Don't know the length of that. That's not, that's a radius, a radius and a gap we don't know about. Okay, this question I'm gonna solve. That one's too hard for me, I'm, I'm gonna try and solve this one. But I'm, I'm gonna zoom in on it first. I'm gonna break it up a bit first. I'm gonna cut it in half, because I don't need the whole one. I, I, at this point, I think you could probably solve this multiple different ways from this point. Um, and I'm interested to hear them, especially if they're a lot different than anything I've spelled out. Now you could use this full triangle, uh, that would be fine, um, and you'd end up having to use a trigonometric function. I'm gonna, I, I wanna use Pythagoras theorem. So I'm gonna cut this in half. I'm gonna zoom in on this triangle here. That's the top one, straight across here. This length being two or. Now again, I recommend you pause the video and do this little mini question because this is the crux of the question. I want this height and this width in terms of or. If you get that, the rest is just busy work. That's the real trick. What's this height and this width? So I'm gonna assume you know it or you've tried it. Um, this width first, this width here. What you need to remember is you know the total width is 70. You know the total height is 100. Or um, put another way, you know the top half is 50, the bottom half is 50. I'm gonna use these numbers to find uh, this length in terms of or at least. So this width is 70. This width here is 70. If I take away this or, 70 minus or. If I take away another or, I get the length I'm looking for. This length here is 70, take away two ors. 
very similar with the height. The height here must be 50. Take away this one or. 50 minus or. Oh, we have a right angle. Remember, this by definition here is a right angle. Everything went straight up or straight right. Um, we can use Pythagoras theorem. Again, you could you could use a trigonometric function at this point as well. Uh, I, I want to use Pythagoras theorem, so that's what I'm going to do. We'll take the longest side, 2 or, and square it. That will be equal to the sum of the square of the other two sides. That's 70 minus 2 or squared plus 50 minus or squared. You didn't come to see me multiply these things out, so I will go a little fast. Um, this comes out as 4 or squared. This will be 4,900 take away 280 or uh, plus 4 or squared. That's that squared. Um, this becomes 2,500 uh, minus a hundred, uh, two fifties, a hundred or plus this or squared. This, uh, this is a quadratic equation. There's or squares, there's ors, there's numbers. Put everything on the same side. Um, you have two four or squares, so we can just actually cancel them. So zero on the left. We just have one or squared here, or squared. How many ors do we have? We have minus 380 ors. And then numbers left over is plus uh, 7,400. We just need to solve this. I'll, I'll rub out the board and we'll solve this quadratic. Okay, remember we're still looking for or. I wish I could tell you this uh, quadratic had a nice factorization. Two numbers multiplied to get 7,400. I wish I could tell you that, but it doesn't come out evenly. We have circles involved, which means we're going to have pi involved. And I decided to give you the nice round numbers for the rectangle, which means the circle is going to come out as an uneven number. So apologies for that. So forget factorization. You solve this any way you want. Of course, you could use a calculator or a computer. If you're allowed to, why not? Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the minus b formula. But of course, we could uh, complete the square as well. But minus b formula, I, I'll assume you mostly know that. Um, that's going to be minus b. That's the, the number in front of... Uh, the or term. So that'll be 380 plus or minus the square root of b squared. That's minus 380 squared minus 4 times a. a is the number in front of or squared times c which is 7400 all divided by uh, 2 times a. So that's uh, well 2 times 1. And this is or. The answer to this is or. We get two answers. When this is a plus we get one answer. When it's a minus, it's another answer. Now, there's no point in me writing all this out. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and put this all in the calculator. I'll get these two answers as or will equal 357.4 or or is equal 20.59. You should be able to throw one of these answers away. One of these answers is clearly not correct. It's the top one. Hopefully you can tell me why. The circle wouldn't fit. Uh, we know from the image the circle fits inside this box. The box is only 70 wide. The radius couldn't be 350. 20 would make sense. 20, 20, 40, a little past halfway across makes perfect sense for this question. That's We're nearly done. Remember all we want to know is the blue area. The blue area is 7,000. The area of the box. Take away three circles, each of these circles. That's three times pi or squared. Or is just 20.59. Again, we'll just go ahead and put that into a calculator. And uh, well, if you want to know a circle is, let me write them all out here. Sorry, pi or squared will get you around 1,300. 1,332, that's rounded off. Uh, three of them. Three circles will equal 3,995. Again, round off, so three twos doesn't get to a five. It does when I've rounded off in, in the background. And um, so 7,000, take away this. The final answer, the blue area, is 3,005. I never get units, let's, let's say meters. <laughs> 3,005 meters squared. Okay, I hope some of you have much better ways to do that question. Maybe neater, shorter, longer, even harder. 
cooler. Uh, I'd love to hear them in the comments. Um, hope you enjoyed this. Thank you for watching and have a great day.